What's going on everybody? So today I wanted to talk greater riffs and more specifically some things you might not know. Some of you may know this and that's great, but a lot of you players that are coming to season 28 maybe have never really played the game or maybe you're just returning. There's a lot of things that you might want to consider, especially when you start to build out more characters, right? You're going to start off the season, you're going to build up that one character, you're going to farm a ton on them. Then you may want to start transitioning into some of the crazier builds like wizard, or monk, etc., etc. And yes, you can farm on your main character for your paragon, but to be honest, getting the loot, you kind of either have to farm on your main character and then gamble for your base build or farm on that second character themselves. Now, what's important about that is you have to pick the right GR tier, right? Because that's how you're going to get the majority of your legendaries. However, greater tiers scale, you know, as you're going and going and going, you're going to get some insane scaled up experience and obviously the health numbers get insane the damage numbers get insane so you need the proper damage and toughness however there is a cap to loot and that's what i want to go over today so first off here when you're looking through the greater tiers uh great rift tiers there are two levels that i want to point out specifically level 90 and level 100 now when you kill a rift guardian there's a total of 12 drops that are made down on these lower tiers, those drops can potentially be, you know, magic quality items. They could be rares, um, you know, the yellows and blues, and potentially even white items sometimes when you're fur, far, far, far down here. But most often people get their set, they start immediately farming, you know, T16 around the level 70 to 75 area. In those levels, you're going to get some yellow, some blue items when the Rift Guardian is killed. So if you are looking to maximize the amount of loot you're needing to get, you're going to want to look towards level 90 okay now with level 90 you can drop 12 potential items 10 to 12. now not all of those are actually going to be legendary or set pieces however at level 100 is when you actually max out and you get the maximum quality and maximum loot from your rift guardian kills this is very very important because if you're looking to build a character all the way up to level 90 level 90 is a great way to farm um, and you're gonna get a lot of loot from it. However, level 100, if you're able to speed farm level 100, that is ideal. If you're able to build out, or if you want to build another character, obviously for your main character, you probably already passed this point for the most part. Um, you know, a lot of people are speed farming 110s, 115s, 120s, or if you're playing a tall Rasha Meteor build, you might be farming 130s at this point, which is pretty insane. Um, but a lot of people with a God DH set are around 110 to 120, depending on how much you've played. Um, obviously, if you're early on, you might only be able to farm, you know, 70, 80, 90, or whatever. Whatever you're at is perfectly fine. But I wanted to show you all an example here. So we're going to dive into level 90 here. I'm going to shrink myself down um, so you guys can see shrink ourselves down just a little bit more so you can see the health bar just in case i were to die which of course isn't going to happen uh that's what i'm gonna claim to but uh it's important to realize that the kind of idea here is that a lot of people just say farm the greatest greater rift here and that is true right you're going to want to speed farm the greatest greater rift here you possibly can you're going to get more blood shards you're going to get more experience those are the two things that you're really going to get more of and as i mentioned if you're trying to gear up an alt character um, which is really what this is kind of i guess you'd say hinting towards because a lot of people might be interested in building out i don't know a monk or a wizard maybe you started with dh you want to build out your tall rasha now but you don't want to sit there and gamble away and get super unlucky it's going to take you a ton of time to actually get that tall rasha set complete and actually be able to farm so you know instead of like trying to be on parity with your main character maybe you're trying to gamble for ancients or whatever you may as well just farm level 100 um or if you're just looking to complete the build you know maybe missing a ring or an amulet or maybe you're just wanting um some like ancient weapon to push a little bit further 90 uh or 100 is going to be the best well particularly 100 is going to give you the maximum quality of items and 90 is going to give you the maximum quantity before that uh, the items can be lower quality and you can see there my my pet just ran over there to salvage uh or some, to pick up some stuff but you'll see here if we just go ahead and click up on all the loot we have one two three four oh and look at that we just dropped a primal look at that that's awesome um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces. Um, and we had a couple that were salvaged by my pet. 
okay that's on level 90 and let me check out this primal what we get um it was a crossbow i don't think that's gonna be useful at all so on to the uh salvage we go but then we want to try out gr100 because gr100 is going to give us those 12 items but they're all going to be of set or legendary quality so we just run in here close out this rift and let's start up a gr100 boom there we go running into a gr100 again if you're able to farm a higher stages quicker that's totally fine but let's say i don't know you can run a gr90 in about two minutes and a gr100 in about three minutes uh you're still going to want to go for gr90 because if you think about it Yes, you're getting a 50% increase in time, but you're not getting a 50% increase in loot, right? So that's kind of how you have to look at it. So yes, GR90 is going to be um, a lot better in a lot of cases than GR100 if you're still putting your build together. But if you can run, let's say GR90 in about two minutes and a GR100 about two minutes, like 10 seconds, two minutes, 15 seconds, something like that, then yeah run GR100 because you're gonna get guaranteed legendaries and guaranteed set items, which is pretty important. And again, this doesn't necessarily matter for a lot of players with their main character. You're probably got augments on them like myself. You may have a couple primals. I happen to drop a really nice uh, shoulder primal here, uh, which has been a pretty core piece of the God set and has allowed me to push a little bit further. Um, I could actually farm 115 at a reasonable time, but I might prefer to farm 110 just for a little bit more laziness. And so really this is looking towards, especially you know, when you're building out that set and you're in that stage where you may have a set, but you don't have any ancients, you may not have any augments on the build. And that's usually when you can probably speed farm about 100 or 90, especially with the tall Rasha build. I remember not having any ancients. Um, and if you guys saw that video, I believe it was on 110. Um, so, you know, I could only barely just farm one 100 slash 105. And that's what I went with, right? 100 just to make sure my build was complete. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and wrap this up just so you can see the Rift Guardian here. And there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and just kill off the Rift Guardian here. And we're going to count all the items. So I'm going to pick up all the materials first. Try not to, uh, I guess, take up any items. But if we count here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So a total of 12 pieces. That is the maximum amount you can actually pick up, um, which is what we were looking for, right? So there you go. That's going to be kind of something that a lot of people did not know. If you're looking to gear up a character, the maximum viability of Greater Rifts is going to be 100. 90 is a good starting place and really nice to farm, um, but 100 is going to be that peak performance for in terms of gearing up characters, in terms of XP and in terms of blood shards, um, which you know can be in terms of, I guess, gearing up your character as well, because blood shards are going to give you potentially more rolls for your ancients and sets. But in terms of strictly loot drops, 100 is going to be the peak. So hopefully this kind of helps you out in determining what Greater Rift to farm. I kind of want to do a full video on that because it does get a little complicated for a lot of people. But again, hopefully this was helpful. I did find this interesting because someone actually dropped a comment um, and I wanted to do some more research on this uh, just because, well, I knew that there was a cap on ter in terms of loot, but I felt like it was worthy of a video that I wanted to describe to you all and that might find you know, some of you a little bit more interesting than some others, but hopefully you enjoyed. And if you did like the video and I'll see you all tomorrow.